Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start featuring some very common problems in orchids and how to tackle them. But I'm not going to show you everything in this one video because it'll be too lengthy and you'll all feel bored. But rather I'll split them into different parts starting with this very video. And today we are going to focus only about the problem of scale in an orchid plant. Before I proceed further, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon for future videos. What are scale? Scale are probably the most damaging insect pest of orchids. They are recognized by light yellowish to dark brown oval to circular shells appearing on leaves, sepals, pseudobulbs and sometimes rhizomes and roots. How do they get there? Somehow, somewhere, there can always be an infected plant when we initially purchase a new orchid. That's why it is very essential to isolate the new buy separately at least for a few days so that we can check if this kind of problem is there. Then if it's there, immediately curve this problem there and then. Otherwise, if we group this new plant with the non-infected ones, it creates an overcrowded scenario and crawlers move from plant to plant. How do we eradicate scale? Sometimes scale can take years to eradicate. A decent way to remove scale is by using rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is either an isopropyl alcohol or a tannol based liquid. We will not go into the chemistry part of it, but definitely you can purchase it from any pharmacy. Here we will need an old toothbrush or a new one, a small ball, cotton swab for cleaning and the alcohol at 70% concentration. Now we will dip the toothbrush in rubbing alcohol and then scrub the scale off of the infected part of the orchids, leaves or pseudobulbs. The alcohol dissolves the insect's waxy covering and is a good tool to reach the pest hidden down in the leaf crevices. Then finally we wipe the scrub area with any clean cotton swab. This treatment could be done at any time but it is easiest while reporting. But we should also keep in mind that it only works on small scale. But for long term approach, insecticides is the best choice. Now you can clearly see here and compare between the previous infected leaf and the treated one. It works for me and definitely it will work for you too. And now friends, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.